Okay, everyone, this video is a little different. This is a full product review. Um, I have my friend Amina here, and we both have, re we're both reviewing the um, Queen Collection 3-in-1 Flawless Foundation. And that is my daughter. If you hear her in the background, she's decided she's not going to go to sleep tonight. So the show must go on. Um, my, co my color in the Queen Collection is 810, which is classic blonde, uh, bronze. What's yours? You don't remember it? No, it's over there. Go get it. I asked you. So um, I want to give my impressions of it. You already seen my first impression. I was head over heels over it, and I still am. It is still the business, and it is, it's just, it's magnificent. The thing I like about it is it wears all day. It turns from liquid to powder, and it, um, I don't get it on my clothes, and <laughs> it's, it's just like a perfect all day, I'm running here, running there, makeup, cause it's uh, what is it? Hard, it's a hard working foundation, in my opinion. And uh, how do you feel about it? And what's your color? That's what we talk. Oh, my color is almond glow, and I don't really wear makeup, so this is actually my first foundation that I got from the Queen Collection, and that it was worked. A foundation. Yes, cause <laughs> I'm new to makeup, but I really, really love how it works on my skin it, it evens everything out and it's really smooth and I don't get yeah. no creases or lines like this yeah thing, you don't yeah. need a primer you right. don't need a primer this one can go straight on yeah and the thing about the queen collection is it has all shades and because with anything else I couldn't find my color but with the queen collection I found the exact color for me and it worked really really well and it's not oily so that's good and it's really good because I had a presentation on Sunday for my church and everybody was like, oh, your makeup, it looks so amazing. I'm like, thanks, Queen Collection. <laughs> but yeah, it works really, really good. I, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. So I was with her when she picked it out. So she's had it just for a couple days. This is her first impression by her product review because she's a newbie to it. I figured having someone that is new to it, given their impression of it and someone that is into makeup and been into makeup for a while to give their impression would help people of all stages in the makeup game and it was definitely again like how i said how easy it was for me to find my shade when i went it was really only out of we were only looking at maybe two shades that may have been hers but she still she eyeballed her and this is someone that don't wear makeup she eyeballed her shade and she had it right the first time so that's what i'm talking about is so many so many options that it is so easy and it's mm -hmm. not stressful mm -hmm. <laughs> and the fact that you, of course you can always take it back so you can find it but that takes the stress out of finding one and so like for women of color to find a foundation that matches us perfectly that lasts all day and that is under ten dollars because you got it for what eight forty nine yeah. eight forty nine i believe i got mine for around eight dollars or nine dollars got mine at walmart she got hers at walgreens so they're under ten dollars and there's so much product let me see how much how much is there is in there on the front it probably said on the front of the bottle how many um, ounces one, one ounce. ounce it's one ounce in there but it's it looks like way more than that but it's a lot of product and it just covers so so well you and it's buildable like if you just like her she just puts on like one like mm -hmm. it's two pumps which covers her face once and if you wanted an even more fuller coverage you just do it again and it wouldn't it would not look ridiculous yeah so the fact that you can build it up or keep it as minimum as possible for those light days is the biggest plus too because you want to be able to be versatile with your foundation you don't have to go buy one full coverage and then one for uh you know sheer coverage um, so this will kind of it has a good range in in your finish and the fact that it's matte and when it's matte you can do a lot more like with your cheeks do, put a little sparkle here but when you kind of do it you don't want to do too much sparkle because you don't want the pictures to be all kind of crazy or whatever but yes that's our impression 
uh, well, product review. That is the full product review and her impression. And if she wants to, she'll come back and let you all know if she finds anything else out about it. But I'm pretty sure she probably, that's, because everyone I've seen reviewing this product has the same thing. It's, it's great and it's great. And she's wearing on her lips, because I don't do black lipstick, but she wears it so well. <laughs> Because I, I just I just don't I have never I don't know why just I guess I haven't got up the boldness for it, but she's wearing uh what is which was the name of it again? Um, it's Fergie's. Um, it's her lipstick with Wet and Wild. It's the um, Pagan Angel. Yeah, it's the blackest one that they have. But it's really like charcoal. Like it's not really shiny or it doesn't have no other tint to it. Like a maybe a reddish or a purple but it's really really black and charcoal it's real nice and it's clean it hasn't stuck to my teeth yet mm -hmm. it's really clean i like this one <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be it for our review if you all have any questions for us put it in the comment section below and if you have any questions for her i'll let her know or whatever i'll probably uh, you have a twitter I'll probably put your Twitter at the yeah. bottom in the in the description box in case you guys want to say something to her. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned.